Perhaps the most magnificent failure of the 20th century is this amazing and revolutionary handgun, the gyrojet. The gyrojet was nothing more than a scaled-down rocket launcher, not unlike the old hail rockets of the 1850s and 60s. It was invented by a man named Robert Mainhart. Bob Mainhart was a nuclear physicist who, as a lad of 21, was involved with the uh, Los Alamos project. Uh, he had an inventive turn of mind, as did his partner, and they decided to try to build some commercially successful rocket-type ventures. Initially, they developed a system to launch flares using solid rocket fuel as the propellant. Soon after, Mainhart and his partner were approached by a high-ranking government official who suggested they apply their rocket technology to a handgun. The result was the gyrojet. The technology was thought to be so good that um, they were manufactured for uh, combat use. The gun itself was a launching device designed to ignite the self-contained cartridge, which utilized solid rocket fuel instead of gunpowder. The ingenious part of, of, of this weapon was the use of solid rocket fuel as a propellant. I mean, this was thinking outside the box for the time. The bullet itself, the projectile, was a controlled spin rocket, basically. While the gun was very light and had no recoil, giving military planners visions of its use in space, it had its problems. First, not all the bullets detonated, and they weren't cheap. Today, they go for about $50 a piece. The other problem is that since it was a rocket, it came out of the barrel uh, very slowly. It had virtually uh, a very low or, or no muzzle velocity when it left the, the barrel. Uh, someone could actually put their finger over the barrel and stop the projectile from escaping because of the no muzzle velocity. At 25 yards, it developed its full uh, velocity. Uh, the problem was that there, there's no rifling, and the bullet had a, a tendency to, to wander off target, and the sighting devices were very crude. Uh, the barrel length was not very long, so it was not accurate. And as an article in the American Rifleman in 1965 stated, for a close combat weapon to be ineffective at close range gave it a bad handicap. The gyrojet concept of the 1960s may have failed because the system was literally light years ahead of its time. Well, they, they're experimenting with all sorts of different kinds of new ammunition. There, there, there's liquid propellants and there's, there's caseless rounds and there's all sorts of things. So it, it's conceivable that, that somebody could come up with some sort of a, of a rocket propellant or a rocket-type bullet again that, that might, in effect, uh, be, be practical. Although, at this point, there's really nothing on the horizon. If nothing else, the gyrojet is magnificent. Like so many other innovative designs in the history of firearms development, 